Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. In this video, I'm going to attempt to show you, and hopefully you can do better colors of a rainbow, kind of make it look like a flat 2D, taking it from 2D to make it look kind of like a 3D effect. And it's really pretty easy. Let's take an ellipse, holding down the control button and get it perfect and hit P. Let's hit the control D on the keyboard while holding down the, the shift key, let it grow inwardly. Grab both of these, open up the blend docker, go to effects and blend. I'm gonna blend it uh, four times. And now normally you have to break the blend apart, but if you take a two point line, we're not gonna use the blend. We're gonna just use these colors. And if you look, this thing is less than 18 inches, so we're making a nudge factor 20. We're gonna use all the same color on the first, and I'm just gonna nudge these five colors out of the way. Now I can get rid of my line, get rid of my circles, and I'm gonna control D or hit the plus key on my keyboard, and I'm actually gonna make two copies. I'm gonna take this one, and I am going to left click, right click, and you can see the outline of the ones, but if you go right here to weld, it, it'll take away all those colors. On this one, we're gonna left click, right click, and leave it like that. We'll probably group them together. Then on this one, we're gonna change the color, and hopefully you can do a little better job than I did. So we're gonna make that first one blue. If you will, a lot of people don't realize, let's get a lighter shade of blue, but it's not in our menu box. If you will hover over that and, and hold down the left mouse button, you can get different shades of color. So let's pick the next one. Let's just make it green. Let's pick the next one. Hover over, hold down your left mouse button, and let's get a really light green. Yeah, that looks bad. Let's just do yellow and red. Let's just leave those colors like they are. Now let's go ahead and group this together. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna nudge this out of the way. This is all grouped together. We're gonna get the drop shadow tool and we're just gonna slide it over. Now it's gonna disappear. But right here, I'm gonna set my feather on 15. And right here, I want to set the feather direction. And I want to go to the outside. Well, what that did, it just kind of fuzzied it up. Now we can go to object, break the drop shadow apart. Now, if you look at the difference, first of all, there's a bounding box around it, but look at the difference of the fuzziness and how much is on the outside and below it. If we will grab that, go up to object, power clip, Place inside frame. Why didn't that work? There we go. I don't know why it didn't work. Maybe it was because it was on that edge. Now, normally I nudge stuff around, but we don't have to in this case. We can bring these colors over closer and use two keystrokes on your keyboard. So select them all and go E, C. Now you can see that our color's on top and because it's a shadow, it's gonna be lighter. We're gonna to go to object order. Now instead of going back to page, we can, since there's just two, we can reverse the order and look at that. Now it does dull it up quite a bit, uh, but it's pretty pretty neat looking if you put, let's, say, let's put a blue sky behind the rainbow order back a page. It, it makes it kind of stand out. There's several ways to do this. And I'm actually gonna try to later, maybe later today, uh, get a second way. But that is pretty cool. It does make it look like it's 3D. Anyway, hope that helped. Thank you for watching.